What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and today we're going to be doing another Reddit video ladies and gentlemen and that's because there was a thread I simply could not resist. What's your worst story from the throw him in the pool and he'll learn how to swim parenting style? Nothing wakes you up in the morning like hearing stories of some awful parents doing parenting things that would make you want to go throw yourself in the pool before you could swim and uh yeah without further ado let's get into it. Yeah, this shit, it just has begun Hey, I'm just about to say it My homies never gotta work cause I can pay it I've never been the guy Alright, so I'm sure everybody's parents have had a situation where you, uh, you know, were thrown to the wolves a little bit and just absolutely made to fend for yourself, but damn, some of these stories got me cackling like a hyena. Not my story, but my mom's. She developed a phobia after she was thrown into a pool to learn how to swim. At the age of 70, she still doesn't know how to. She's terrified of being on the water, even in a vest, and then some fake clairvoyant told her she would die by drowning, so we spent our summers in the mountain far away from water. Does your mom shower, bro, or does she just smell like a rotten milk receptacle, dude? I'm sorry, she's horrified of the water in any circumstances. Homegirl screaming in the shower while trying to get her scrub on. My dad and I once witnessed someone who literally did this for a three-year-old girl. This little girl was playing at the edge of the pool, minding her own business, when her dad ran up, picked her up, tossed her in, screaming into the deep end while running away, yelling, time to swim, honey. At first, my dad and I didn't react, because my dad has done this to me as a game but we started to notice that she was struggling to surface while the dad watched. My dad asked, can she swim? To which the guy shrugs and said, she'll figure it out. I've never seen my dad book it so fast to get into the water as I did that day. He quickly got the kid and started screaming at the guy about what an idiot he was while the girl was bawling his eyes out. I swear my dad was ready to deck the guy, and this was back in the 90s when we didn't have cell phones to call the police, but we never saw them again after that. It was the first time in my life I'd seen insane parenting, and to this day, it freaks me out some people still do this. Bro, uh, uh, huh? Do people really just be tossing three-year-olds in the deep end, expecting them to be able to stand up on their own? Bro, they couldn't walk less than a year ago, and you expect them to suddenly become Michael Phelps in the water? What is wrong with people? I hurt my arm playing football during a morning break at school and was sent home by the nurse. My dad said it was fine, bandaged it, and sent me to school, only for them to send me home again within an hour. My mom made my dad take me to the hospital and my arm was broken. My wrist had split lengthways as it was in a cast for nine months. I was secretly buzzing to be honest cause that showed him the knob. Dad please my arm is killing me it's literally about to fall off I've never felt such searing pain. Son how many times have I told you? Education is important. Now get on the school bus. And he punches him in the arm. My younger cousin was a climber and always needed help getting down. His dad told his mom to leave him and he'll either get himself down or stop climbing. My cousin ended up climbing onto the roof, fell off, and got impaled on a fence pole. One very expensive trip to the ER and he has a cool scar on his thigh. And he did not stop climbing, he just got better ways off the roof. To be fair, I feel like you're not actually good at climbing until you're good at getting down too. That's like only being good at half the job. Hey guys, I'm really great at pooping, but I forget to wipe. Like, okay, that doesn't actually count then. I also feel like getting impaled by a fence pole would hurt. Is, is your cousin okay? When I was about five or six, I was very sick with the flu. Fever, vomiting, sweating, congestion, it was just awful. There was a mix-up at the pharmacy and they thought I I was my father and gave him adult medication which is basically giant horse pills. Now normally child medication for things like this are syrups and chewables for obvious reasons and my dad comes home and tells me I have to take these meds and I'm having a hard time getting them down almost choke a few times. And my dad got frustrated and literally started shoving these huge pills down my throat with his shaking fingers. I start crying and my nose is stuffed. I remember my dad's wedding ring banging against my teeth, eyes watering, grasping for air. Eventually, I coughed it back up and I remember my mom apologizing or demanding an apology for my dad. To which he said he's just gonna have to learn to take the pills sometimes anyways. And stormed off. Jesus, bro, what is going on in these Reddit threads? Everybody's just dropping casually that their dad tried to force feed them medication as if that's a normal childhood memory. Ah, oh, remember when we'd go to Disneyland and dad would drug us? No, Kyle. N nobody did that. I actually used to be a swim teacher in college, teaching private lessons in people's backyards because of parents who had thrown their kids in a pool to sink or swim. It was usually moms calling me for help because they heard from a friend that I was able to teach their kid and get them to like the water again in about a month or less. One kid who was seven. Man, I had to sit with him on the pool deck the whole first lesson and bring buckets of water to him. His dad 
dad had dumped him multiple times and insisted his son would just figure it out eventually because that's how he learned. Needless to say, he was never home when I was there. The mom had me come while dad was at work, and four weeks later she had come had me come later in the afternoon so he would come home towards the end of the lesson. His dad saw his son swimming and cried happy tears. He had no idea I had been there three days a week for a month. My favorite student was a 70-year-old man who wanted to do a triathlon but never learned how to swim because his dad threw him in as a child. It took about three months total, a lot of hand-holding on the steps in the shallow end, but he finally achieved his goal and I got to cheer him on at the finish line. I still remember how each of my students clung to my arm and clawed at my neck in their first lesson. I never dunked or forced anyone out of their comfort zone, and my lessons had to be customized for each student. The trauma in their eyes was haunting, though. It stayed with me, and I never forced anything on my kids they aren't ready to do. It's about trust, not force. I didn't realize this was, like, a common thing, bro. I thought it was just a colloquial saying, like, ah, I'm gonna throw them into the deep end and show them how to swim. I didn't realize that people out there actually thought that was good advice. So just to say this now, you know, don't throw your kids who can't swim into a pool. What is wrong with you people? My brother and I are seven years apart. When he was 16 and I was nine, he taught me how to box by putting a hockey helmet on me and beating the ever-living crap out of me. I'm reasonably certain I was concussed and suffered horrible migraines from that day well into my 20s. As stupid as this sounds, uh, this sounds like siblings, bro. This sounds like siblings. Yeah, I'm not surprised on this one. Two days after I graduated high school, I came home to an empty house, all my stuff in a U-Haul, because my mom and stepdad had moved out without me. I've been financially independent ever since, but a heads up would have been nice. Hey, honey, all right, you're gonna be financially independent in about ah, five minutes. The moving vans are here. Good luck. How are you gonna do your kid that dirty, bruh? My stepmom walked us deep into the woods to left us there to learn survival skills. We thought we were all out on a hike, but then she distracted us and ran away. We wandered into camp hours later. We knew how to get back, but searched for hours, worried something happened to her. She had been drinking margaritas and smirking. Oh, yeah, uh, what happened to the kids, honey? You know, I just felt like they weren't really prepared to deal with a survival situation, so I walked them into the woods and left them there. All right, Hansel and Gretel, like the wicked witch who's going to eat the children. You can't, huh? The parenting going on in this thread is honestly making me want to, like, parent, and I'm not ready for that at all. My mom forced me to drink milk, and she thought I just hate healthy stuff and only prefer junk food. The thing is, I always loved veggies, and I also like junk food. I love everything except for milk. I just couldn't consume milk. It'd make me vomit, and I'd have acid reflux and not be able to handle it, and she thought I was acting, and I just hated it. Turns out I'm lactose intolerant, and my mom thinks I'm just making that up because she can't let go of her ego. Who fakes being lactose intolerant? It's not like that's a fun one to fake, bro. You don't get to skip lines in amusement parks or anything. Like, oh, you're lactose intolerant, you can't enjoy milkshakes? That, that's not a positive thing. Nobody's sitting there like, oh, thank God that I can't drink milk. I was volunteering at a parent-child zoo day and saw few parents like this. The zoo had some free roaming peacocks, and it was awful how many parents just didn't tell their kids, they're too young to know kids, that they can be mean. So the little toddler goes, pretty bird, only to try to get closer and get chased and attacked by this thing while the parents watch. Most of them said something like, you should know better. How? How if you never teach them? The child can barely walk. You expect them to remember that some animals have strong territorial senses, and then your baby gets terrorized by this thing that's bigger than them and looks like an alien for all they know, and you don't even give it a hug? We had one mom that we had to kick out of the zoo because she was encouraging her kids to antagonize the llama in hopes it would spit on them. Yikes, people. Have some sympathy and empathy for the tiny beings who trust you implicitly with their well-being. Okay, alright, jokes aside, it would be hilarious to watch a kid get spit on by a llama, alright? Not antagonizing it, because I would feel bad for the llama, but tell me you're at the zoo and some kid's being a jerk to the llama and it spits in his face. You wouldn't giggle a tiny amount, huh? No? No, nobody? Okay, I'm a horrible person. Noted. I feel like it's just really not that hard to not throw your kids in the pool or leave them in the middle of the woods, dude. Like, if it's that difficult, maybe this whole parenting thing really isn't for you. You guys ever considered that one? Because I'm just saying, throwing your kid in the deep end does not seem like a fun way to learn how to swim. But what do I know, bro? I'm just an idiot on the internet. If you liked the video, I would really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button, comment down below, and subscribe, all that good stuff. If you like stuff like this, I do have a podcast called The Scuffed Cat 
podcast. You can find a link to that down in the description. It's with a couple of my YouTube friends. We just talk about nonsense. Feel free to go give that a listen. It's pretty fire if you ask me. If you like the intro song, then a link to that will also be down in the description. It's the newest one, so uh, you can find that down there. And of course, check out the 2 million subscriber merch. It's out. It's pretty fantastic if you ask me, and all those links can be found in the description. Other than that, that's going to do it for the video. As I've said, hope y'all enjoy. Last but certainly not least, we got to give a shout out to all the members here on this channel. So without further ado, a big shout out to... Big shout out to Cray, Skirty, Robert, Tactical Army, Voizian, XF Gaming Vlogs, Joy Jones, Rampage and Bob, Atticus is Cool, G Gomer, Grim, Hunter, TQY, Dirty Cum Napkin, Lisa Newhart, Blurst Weeb, Monkey Man, and Tog Angry Dot, Because Awesome is King, Jake Magic, Amanda Dickens, Burnt Toast, Toasty, Sam Brony, Cannibal Kitten, Dusk Nerd, Chirpy, Grass Flavored Ramen, Christian, Candy Rose, Caveman Fruit, Ultra Radish, Raymond, Pepe, Bullseye Ben, Michael, Cyrus, Flofty, Kanye, Wiro, Lackey, Caden, Carrot, Calvin, Kinsta, Random Bot, Bro, Zach, Knees, Duts, Dashy Boy, DJ Legend, Alex, Typical Panda, Prologue, Aaron, Loves Scrubs, Mackenzie, Benedicti, Brandon, Flawed, Phoenix, Dylan, Baker, Sebastian, Bees, Johnny Dude, Cosmic Ramen, Fabulously Terrifying, Chandler, Lewis, and Ryuki. Thank you so, so much for being members. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, on that note, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.